Good evening, brothers and sisters, families, and friends. This is Sister Massa coming to you. Hallelujah. With this live video, let God reach the bless you as you follow me on this channel, on this platform. This platform, brothers and sisters, is all about trusting God in our generation. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. This platform, brothers and sisters, is all about trusting God in our generations. This is Sister Massa coming to you with this live video. Today, we are families and friends. Please join me on this live video as we worship our God, as we live His name or her. To tell how great and wonderful he is in our life. He's so wonderful. He's so gracious. We are so gracious. We are so grateful for our God is faithful. He never fails us. Hallelujah. He never changed. He never fails. He's so wonderful to fail you. He, he's, he's so wonderful to fail us. You are so powerful to fail me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost. You are too faithful in my life, Lord. We have come to realize, thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me, Lord. You are too faithful to fail me. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful to disappoint me. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful in my life, Lord. I have come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. You are too kind to fail me, Lord. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You are too faithful in my life, Lord. I have come to realize you are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail me, Lord. You are too faithful to fail me. In time like this in our generation, you are too faithful to disappoint us. You are too faithful, you are too faithful, you are too faithful. You are too faithful to disappoint me. You are too faithful in our lives, Lord. We have come to realize, thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful to fail me. You are too faithful to fail us, Lord. You are too faithful to leave us. You are too faithful to leave us. You are too faithful to leave us. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You are too faithful to disappoint us. You are too faithful in my life, Lord. We have come to realize. Thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful to fail us. We have put our trust in you, Lord. You are too faithful to fail me. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful to disappoint us. You are too faithful in my life, Lord. I have come to realize, thank you, Jesus. You are too faithful to fail me. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Families and friends, our God is so faithful. He is too faithful to fail you and I. He is so wonderful to fail us. He is so kind. To fear you and I. Hmm. Thank you, Lord. Brothers and sisters, and Father, in the name of Jesus, I bless your word. I bless you, O oh God, for your people. I glorify your name this hour. Precious and loving God, Father, I just commit this time into your hands. I commit this platform into your hands, just in going our generations on YouTube. I commit YouTube channel into your hands. I pray, O oh God, for people to come and subscribe to this channel. I pray, O oh God, that people can support this channel. I pray, O oh God, that you move people, O oh God, to come and subscribe to this channel. People will be able to be to you move people, O oh God, to come and support to come and, and, and support this channel in every way that they can support this channel. You God gonna lead your people, bring forth the people that you want to support your word, O oh God. People that desire and hunger for your word. People that are tested for your word. People that are tested for your glory. People that want to see the, the, the work of God moving in this world. The light of God shining in the life of the unbelievers. That they will win their over, O oh God, to your kingdom. Father, we thank you. We bless you. I honor your name to have your way, O oh God. Now and forevermore. This is our prayer. Families and friends, we have come in one agreement to ask in Jesus' matchless name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, our God is good all the time. And all of the time, he's good to you and I. Families and friends. 
Hallelujah. I have a topic I want to speak, I want to speak about brothers and sisters on this channel is about prayer. I'm teaching on the topic of prayer this week, families and friends. But I have a very, very important topic on Sunday for this channel about the youth. Hallelujah. But now we just take a prayer. It's all about prayer, families and friends. The, the 23rd Psalm is very, very powerful to recite every day of your life. If you begin to pray from Matthew, Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 to 14, tell our Lord's prayer. How Jesus wants us to pray. Our Father, he said, who are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us these things that will take the bread and forgive us of trespasses. As we forgive to also trespasses against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from every evil. For thy is your kingdom, of power and glory forever and ever. Amen. Thank you, Lord. That is from the book of Matthew chapter 6 to 14. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter 6 from verse 9 to 14. Tell all about the Lord's prayer. Then Psalm 23, families and friends. Psalm 23 is also a prayer that's very powerful, families and friends. It is the Lord is our shepherd. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want anything. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. In the green pastures, he makes us to lie down in green pastures. Fruitfulness. In places that will be fruitful. He lead me beside the still water. He restored my soul. He lead me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yet to I walk, I walk, I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. For instance, the through the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For thou art with me. Thou roar in the star be comfort me. Thou prepare the table before me in the presence of my enemies. He prepared the table before in the presence of our enemies, families and friends. Because ever you find yourself in this world. He will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Because I will go face a strength against the evil ones. Hallelujah. He face a storm against the evil doers. As long as you seek the face of God to do righteousness, to live according to his will, brother, he will guide you and protect you in the name of Jesus. He will pray to what before in the presence of our enemy. That is not how our hair will off, our cup running over. He is not our hair will off, our cup running over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us, brothers, all the days of our lives. As we do it in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. That is a very powerful prayer. Brothers, don't overlook it. Very, very powerful. It's Psalm 23 from 1 to 6. Matthew 6, 9 to 14. Tell you about the Lord's prayer. Then I take come to Psalm 91 from 1 to 16. Let me tell you, let me read about Psalm 91. It says, He who dwell in the secret place of the most high God. We abide under the shadow of God Almighty. I will say unto the Lord, my refuge, my fortress, my God in whom I trust. For he will never, he will, he will, he will, for he will deliver you from what? From the snails of the fowl. The snails of the fowl. Okay. He will deliver off of every snails of the enemy. Every snails and tree and scheme of the enemy. He will deliver you and I. As long as we trust him. Brothers and sisters. Families and friends on the live video on YouTube. He will deliver us from all those things. Families and friends. And what? And for every deadly pestilence. Every deadly pestilence that will come in the world. Brothers and sisters. Every pestilence that, that is coming in the world. That will pollute this world. God will deliver you and I. From the deadly pestilence. He said Deadly person, you know how wicked that person will be, but God will save you and I from that person. He said, Ah, he said, He will cover you with His what? With His what? With His feathers and on His wings, you will find refuge. Hallelujah. He will cover us with His feathers and on His wing, you will find refuge in the name of Jesus. In the calamity, we find refuge in Christ Jesus. His faithfulness is a shield and buckler. God faithfulness will be our shield and our buckler. The shield that will cover you and I and our buckler that will protect us. Families and friends, 
in whatsoever thing that we do or faces in this world. He is our she and he will be our bugler. You say you will not fear the terror by night, nor the arrow that fly by day. Hallelujah. Don't fear the terror by night, God says. Neither the arrow that fly by day. Because our God is with us. They can come in any kind of way in the neck. God is going to protect us. Because we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus from, our, from the crown of our head to the source of our feet. We declare our home dangerous in the eyes of the enemy. Holy God, fire consuming every witch and wizard flying all over our home. Our house is covered with fire of God. Because what? You're depending on God, not man. Because you trust in your Lord, He will never leave you. You don't have any strength in your power. It is God that you trust and believe in self. He's going to bring, put His power upon you, families and friends. Whatever you are, the power of God will follow you. The presence of the Lord will be with you. Hallelujah. Neither the terror by night, neither the arrow that fly by day. God is going to protect you and I from it. Thank you, Jesus, for your protection. Then read Psalm 121 from verse 1 to 8. It says, A strong, a son of ascent, I lift up my eyes on the hill. From where does my help come from? Brothers and sisters, I will lift up our eyes upon the hill when we see and look up to the Lord. Where our help come from? Our help come from God of the creation. God Almighty. God our creator. Our help comes from what? From the Lord who made what? Heaven and the earth. Brothers, our help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot to be moved. God will not let your foot, brothers and sisters, to be moved for anything that is not of God. As the enemy come against you, families and friends. He will not let your foot to be moved or stumble or, or, stumble, or, or trek upon in this world. He said, he who keep, who he who keeps you will never snub, snubber. Behold, he who keep Israel will neither snubber or sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shield in your right hand. He is our shield. He is our keeper. He is our right hand. Brothers, all the promises God has given to us, we need to trust God, brothers and sisters. We need to trust our God. Hallelujah. We need to trust God because for all the promises He has given to you and I, we need to trust God, brothers and sisters. We need to trust our God for all the promises he has made unto us. We need to trust God and trust in his faithfulness. He said he will not keep on Israel. We keep you and not sleep, no slumber. The Lord is your keeper. He is your shield and on your right hand. He is our shield. He is our keeper. He is our refuge. He is our defender. He is our healer. He is our heart of physician. He is our rock. He is our defender. He is everything, brothers and sisters. You can name it. Continue to just be naming them. Now I'll read for you Acts. Acts 12, 5 say, So Peter was kept in prison, but earnestly pray for him was made to go by the church. Hallelujah. Peter was put into prison, but he prayed earnestly to go. Hallelujah. Endless that he prayed to God because he was made by God for the church. Peter was made by God for the church. Peter was created by God for the church. To stand for the church. Even in his death, he stand for the church, brothers and sisters. That is how God wants to stand for his gospel in our time. In our time, in our days, God wants us to stand for the church, families and friends. Are we willing to stand for the church? Mark 11, 24. Oh. Mark 11, 24, brothers and sisters. Let me get read it for you quickly. Therefore, I tell you, whatsoever you ask in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be given, it will be yours. Whatsoever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have already received it, families and friends. Believe it that you have already received these things that you ask in God for in prayer. Believe it that you already receive it in our good God who is faithful and see your heart and your justice, your, your commitment and your persevering and your courageousness. 
in your faithfulness, in your commitment, in your persistency, he's going to bless you. He's going to bless you, families and friends. Hallelujah. We need to stay fast in the Lord, families and friends. We need to trust God with our life. With everything that we have in us. Bless the Lord. Psalm 103. Let me see. Say, bless the Lord, O my soul. And all that is within me. Bless your holy name. Forget not his benefits. He's the one that bless our mouth with good things. He's the one that healed our disease. I'm coming, brothers and sisters. Let me just read something to you about Psalm. How we need to bless the Lord. How we need to pray. How we need to give God praise at all times, families and friends. We need to exalt the name of the Lord every time in our midst, in our lives. We need to come before his presence with thanksgiving into his court with praise, exalting his name, thanking him for his grace and his power. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Let me see here. Let me just go for you there. Oh, they just read for you quickly. It's Psalm of David. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Brothers and sisters, we need to bless the name of the Lord. Even we come in his presence and we'll begin to pray and ask God for mercy. We need to glorify his name and bless his name first. To give him the adoration that he deserves, the praises, the worship, to tell him thank you for our lives, families and friends. We need to bless the Lord. He said, Bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, all my soul, and forget not all his benefits. We should not forget about the benefits of God, the favor of God, the anointing of God, the presence of God, the healing of God, the favor of God. The kindness of God upon our life. We should not forget his benefits. There are so many billions of benefits God has given to you and I that we are here today, families and friends. We are young, we are not here by mistake, families and friends. Youth, we are not here by mistake. You are the future generation youth. You need to bless the Lord with your whole heart, mind, body, and soul. And what? Bless his holy name. Let everything of your being bless God's holy name. Bless the Lord. And not forget about his benefits. Thank you, Jesus. He will forgive all that iniquity and heal all that disease. Our God is faithful and kind. Thank you, Jesus. Who redeemed that life from destruction? Who crowned thee with loving kindness and tender mercy? How good is our God? How great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? Always sing, how great. How great is our God. Sing with me how great is our God. Always sing how great is our God. Always sing how great, how great is our God. Name above all names. You are worthy of our praise. Our heart will sing, how great is our God, how great is our God. Sing with me, how great, friends, is our God. Always sing, how great, how great, how great is our God. Thank you, Jesus. Families and friends, our God is great and mighty, strong in battle. He's the life. He is the one that saved us from destruction. He saved and redeemed our life from destruction. Families and friends, there are so many things that supposed to destroy us today. Sickness from the time we were born could have destroyed you and I. But God kept us alive today because there's a purpose He has for you and I we need to fulfill. There is a mission we need to fulfill. There is a goal we need to fulfill. Brothers and sisters, there's that millions of lives we need to impact in the world. This is why we are still here. God has all here for a purpose. We are not here by mistake, families and friends. Thank you, Jesus. He redeemed our life from our destruction. He crowned us with loving kindness. He crowned. Our hair has a crown of loving kindness. Always. He always see that loving kindness. Because it is a crown on our head. That we carry around with God. Loving kindness upon us. Thank you, Jesus. Who certified that mother with good things? So that the youth 
I'm coming to the youth. He certify your mouth, you for good things. Who crown your head with loving kindness and certify your mouth with good things. Good food for you to eat. Hallelujah. Give you wisdom for you to speak of knowledge. He certify your mouth with good things so that the mouth is renewed like an eagle. So that your youth is renewed like an eagle. Your youth. In your young days, families and friends, brothers and sisters, young people, the youth, he will what? Renew. He will certify your mouth with good things so that your youth can be renewed. When he certify you with good things, certify your mouth with good things, he make your youth to be renewed like an ego. He make you strong in faith. He give you wisdom and knowledge. He make you so strong and powerful to fly. Like an ego in the name of Jesus. The Lord execute righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. God will execute righteousness and judgment for you, youth that are going on a peer pressure, that have been accused falsely. Whatever tension you are going through, youth, I want to tell you that our God is here. He loves you so much. He's calling unto you, the youth, for you to surrender your life and come unto Jesus. Accept Jesus as a Lord and personal Savior. And live for your call. God going to use you in a very mighty way. He said he will certify your mouth. With good things. Who certify that mouth with good things. So that your youth will be renewed like an eagle. He certify your mouth with good things. So that like your, your youth. Your young days. Will be renewed like an eagle. You get more stronger. And powerful like an eagle. You know when eagle is the, the biggest bird. That fly in the air, brothers and sisters. You will fly like an eagle. God will give you the spiritual grace. He will give you the anointing. The Lord execute righteousness and judgment. To all, for all that oppress. Everyone that oppress in any way. Families and friends, youth. God will execute judgment and righteousness for you. Was it ever where you have been falsely accused? Some people are in prison because they have been falsely accused of murder. That they don't know nothing of. Anything that you have done, that the enemy have done to you, God going to execute judgment and righteousness on the oppressed. As you are oppressed, everything that might be oppressing you in our time, youth, God, families and friends, God going to what? He going to execute judgment for you. Hallelujah. For those that are oppressed, he made known his ways unto Moses, his act unto the children of Israel. He make his ways known unto Moses. You know what God led Moses to do? To stretch his rod, that the red sea departed, the sea departed into two, and his Israelites walk on dry land. This is how powerful your God is, family and friends. This is how powerful your God is. He show himself. He make himself known unto the Israelites, even though there was loud deception, unbelief among them. Some people believe, some people never believe. Some people were doubting. But God loved the Israelites. That his particular people that are his called by, by his name. Yes. Because the generation had a lot of powerful prophets, a lot of faithful prophets and truthful prophets of God that ever worked for God in those times. Hallelujah. All of them were from the Israelites. Thank you, Jesus. The Jews in the, the Jews in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. He made known his way unto Moses. Is add unto the children of Asia. Thank you, Father. The our God is merciful, gracious, and slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. He will always cling neither will he keep his anger forever. Brothers and so everything that is happening, the deception and lies, false prophets, the people coming and using Jesus Christ's name for in vain, using God's name in vain. He will not keep his anger forever. This is why we need to accept Jesus Christ now, families and friends. Because God will not keep his anger forever and looking at his, the blood of his son that was shared for 2,000 years ago to say, Father, have mercy upon them. He will not keep his anger forever. One day, he will lose it. Brothers and sisters, he will lose it. He will get tired with us and lose his anger. Because the Bible says, say it here, I will, he will now what? Neither will he keep his anger forever. Which means God will not keep his anger forever. Yes. 
He's plenty of him. My say, it's not to anger. It does not mean to say we should provoke him and use his name in vain. Because his anger that is slow, he plenty of him. My say, he could lose it one day and say enough is enough. Families and friends, he had not dealt with us according to our sin. God is not dealing with us according to our sin. Families and friends, he's not dealing with us according to our calamity, according to the sin that we have committed, according to what the rebelliousness we have done unto the law. He's not dealing with us according to our sin. Nor he has rewarded you and I according to our iniquity. God is not rewarding us according to our iniquity. He is willing that every man come to repentance. That no one should perish. Families and friends. Because God does not want anyone to perish. For as many. If he said for as the heaven is high above the earth. So is. So great is his mercy towards them that fear him. We need to fear God. God's mercy is great towards those that fear him. Hallelujah. And as far as the east is from the west, so far he has removed our transgression from us. As the east is far from the west, so far has God moved our transgression from us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, I'll leave you with this video today on, on YouTube. I pray that God richly bless his word, that whosoever will come across this video in the future, now and in the future, that they will join me that they will wish to be blessed from the word of God, that they will accept Jesus Christ as the Lord and personal Savior. Now, today is the day of salvation, families and friends. As you listen to the word of God, do not harden your heart. If God is speaking to your heart, to give your life to him, brother, sister, you just give your life to Jesus. Don't let the enemy to hold you back to tell you you have to stick out more time. You can repent today. You can repent tomorrow. You will wait until two days. You will wait until one week. But you don't know. Jesus Christ will come to your teeth in the name, families and friends. He will come like a thief in the net if we are not prepared. If we are not prepared, it will be bad for all because judgment is beginning from the church, brothers and sisters in the law. Judgment is beginning from the church. This is where judgment will start from, from the church. So we, the Christian, the believers, the followers of Jesus Christ, have to be very, 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 very careful in and watchful. The Bible says we should pray at all times. First, that's what fast and what they say, pray without ceasing. Brothers and sisters, we got 24 hours in a day, seven days a week. We need to make a time. Youth, young people, you need to make time for God in your life. We got 24 hours in a day. Do not take those 24 hours listening to water music, listening to uh, put earphone tape in your ear. That you are you are not in the you are in the world, but you are in a different world. That's that 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 that, that, that putting that off drunk into your brain into your hair that singing lot of uh, 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 demonic uh, uh, songs into your ear that you put it in and you put it into your soul families and friends that 24 hour in a day take up begin for 10 minutes even a five minute you will be growing 15 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes 35 minutes 40 50 minutes you go you go to one hour present practice make perfect begin now youth god will use you mentally Beginner, do not be listening to water music. Take that time, put that earphone tape down, and say today I decide from to listen to gospel music. I decide from to read my Bible. I decide from to read a scripture. I decide to get on my knees to pray to God today instead of me taking all this time on social media. Let me take the time for my God. Let me be a relationship with my God, my Creator who is in heaven. Be and have a communication with Him. God can want to communicate with us, but we are not listening. We are not prepared. We are not attentive. We are not making up our mind to serve the Lord, brothers and sister. God is calling you and other youth. You people are precious people. God want to use you because for your energeticness. People are so energetic. When you are young, you are energetic, strong, wise, and smart. Your bones are strong. Everything of you is fresh. God want to use you and you are very, very smart to cover. But for the older people, while you take the land in one month, we older people take three months to get it. Because when you order your brain get weaker, brothers, everything of you get weaker and slow. But this is why you are the youth. You need to listen to, you need to come to God and give your life to Jesus Christ as a Lord and personal Savior youth that God wish to bless you. I want to thank God. Thank you for your life. Ever so much on this video. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, stay blessed. Make our God make a face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you and give you peace that surpasses all understanding now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Youth. Brothers and sisters, families and friends, be blessed. Hallelujah. Stay blessed now until another video. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace, I live with you. Shalom.